I have a girlfriend. I won't tell you her name because one of you will steal her. <laughs> I, I tell my girlfriend she's really special. And she is, she is special. In the, in, in the same way the special K is special. <laughs> she makes me look a lot skinnier. <laughs> she, uh, she doesn't like that one. <laughs> now, I'm a, I'm a one liner comedian, which means that my jokes are really long, but I write them all in a size one font. <laughs> Tim Vines onslaught. I'll give you some motivational comedy. Do you like motivational comedy? Great. <laughs> now, a warning first. I have been told that perhaps I don't really get observational comedy. Um, and, 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 and I would agree with that. If it wasn't something I had observed. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, observational comedy. Don't you hate it when you're walking along at night, you see a man that looks a lot like a murderer. After he's gone, you sort of check to see he's not trying to murder you. He's checking to see you're not trying to murder him. And you realise that even this man who looks so much like a murderer thinks that you look like a murderer. And it's like, I'm, I'm not a murderer, you're, you're a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you hate that? Don't you hate it when you realise just how expensive condoms are, but you can't complain about it to anyone because it's much too late in life to only just be realising this now. <laughs> Observational comedy. Don't you hate it when you're sure that your postman has turned against you because he's given you a letter for your neighbour, Mr. Fadil Umar Hack. Presumably because he knows that you're a comedian. The last thing you want to see in the morning is a letter saying, if you hack. <laughs> A good side note to that one, hack is actually a Middle Eastern surname meaning true, truth, or real, which in the context of that joke is ironic. <laughs> Observational comedy. Don't you hate it when you're walking along, you see your stupid house man, Andy bouncing along the street with headphones in, listening to music, and playing air guitar, and you sort of chuckle to yourself, no, and you give the free cover it away. But the wave goes weird, you hear your wrist, it goes like that. He sees you and starts laughing, everyone sees his face. Go to hell, Andy! You have no right to laugh at me! <laughs> Don't you hate it when you see a foreign girl you know, she says hello, you immediately think hello. I know it isn't your first language, but you need to practice it at home. You can't just walk along the street muttering hello to yourself. People are thinking mental. Anyway, hello is like the first word you learn, it's like the most basic greeting. Have you never hello? Then you realise she was being hello to you, like, you know, to be polite, and you, you should have acknowledged her, boy. <laughs> Finally, observational comedy. Don't you hate it when you think of all those jokes in one sitting and you notes to write them up properly later, and the next time you show someone your notebook, it falls open on the page that reads, uh, Murderer condoms turn anti foreign. <laughs> <laughs> My notebook is a dark and scary place. <laughs> so, um, moving on a bit, uh, recently, something that I've actually been thinking about quite a lot is more observational comedy! <laughs> <laughs> moving up, I ain't moving fucking nowhere! <laughs> Someone's very angry, you don't realise how very angry they are. You make a joke, they say, what? Then you realise that they're very angry. You sort of pretend that your joke is real and they think you're an idiot. <laughs> and, and you add them to the list of people who seemed alright, but now you're never going to be friends with. <laughs> don't you hate it when you're talking to... Don't you hate it when you're talking to someone about the sitcom Black Books with Dylan Moore and Bill Bailey? You say, yeah, Bernard and Manny are funny. The person behind you over here is a misfit. Turns around and says, that's right, Bernard and Manny is very funny. <laughs> You get offended, not because he thinks you like Bernard Manning's own racist jokes, but because he presumably thinks you deploy the grammatical structure of Bernard Manning are funny. <laughs> <laughs> what a clown! 